today's episode of Female Founder Stories, we have a tropical treat for you. We are taking a trip to the honeymoon capital of the Caribbean, St. Lucia, to feature a woman who built a real estate empire which includes a successful brand of business and family hotels. We're diving into, or better, making a splash into the life and legacy of Joyce Destang, the founder of Bay Gardens Resorts in St. Lucia. Her journey is a masterclass in vision, resilience, and empowerment. So grab an ice cold glass of coconut water and let's dive in. Hi, I'm Hannah Fitz, founder of Aphrodite Code, a global business accelerator and personal growth platform for female founders. Joyce Destang is a force to be reckoned with. Born and raised on the beautiful island of St. Lucia, she always had a passion for hospitality and tourism. But her journey to success was anything but easy. Joyce started her career as a teacher, a stable and respectable field. But she and her husband had a bigger vision and soon realized her true calling in real estate investing and development. At first, Joyce thought about creating an apartment complex, but she and her husband Desmond Destine decided to pivot and take a monumental leap of faith to open, at the time, the 45-room Bay Gardens Hotel in 1995. Since then, they have expanded the hotel to 87 rooms and invested in three other properties, Bay Gardens Inn, Bay Gardens Resort, their marquee beachfront property with 78 rooms, and Bay Gardens Marina Haven Hotel, a chain of four hotels. Today, the Bay Gardens brand is not just a household name in the Caribbean hotel industry. It's a family-owned and operated business that has won many prestigious awards, including the Green Globe Environmental Stewardship Award and several TripAdvisor Certificates of Excellence. Her resorts carry a legacy of being women-owned and led. It offers an authentic Caribbean experience to thousands of visitors every year. Joyce Destang has personally received the Order of the British Empire Award. She was recognized by the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce as Entrepreneur of the Year in 2014 and the St. Lucia Gold Medal of Merit for her long and meritorious service in the field of entrepreneurship. Now, let's dive into the three powerful lessons that we can all learn from Joyce Destang's entrepreneurial journey. The first lesson is take calculated risk. Joyce left a stable job as a teacher to pursue her entrepreneurial dreams. It was a risk, but a calculated one. She did her research, understood the market, and took the plunge into an industry few locals dared to at the time. The lesson here, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, but be sure that you're well prepared. Lesson number two, adapt and evolve. The tourism industry is like a chameleon. It's always changing. Joyce understood this and continually adapted her business model to meet the needs of modern travelers. From launching eco-friendly initiatives to incorporating local culture into the guest experience, Bay Gardens Resorts is a living testament to her adaptability. Empower others. Joyce is not just a businesswoman. She's a community leader. She has created employment opportunities for locals and has been an advocate for women in business. In fact, the first general manager of Bay Gardens Properties was powerhouse hotelier Berthea Powell and her husband, who was also the first female president of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association. Her success is a collective success, uplifting those around her. And this is what we look at in Aphrodite Code. In fact, Aphrodite Code is built on a rising tide principle. We believe that as female entrepreneurs, when we come together and we collaborate, we can create greater impact and success in the world. So remember, true leadership is about empowering others and hiring highly competent people who share your vision. What makes Joyce's story even more remarkable is her commitment to keeping Bay Gardens as a family-owned and operated business. This ensures that the core values and the vision she started continues to thrive. Joyce Destine's story is a beacon of inspiration for aspiring entrepreneurs, especially women looking to make their mark. Her journey teaches us that with the right mindset, calculated risk, and a focus on community, the sky's the limit. It doesn't matter how you started, it's where you're headed. If you like this video, remember to like, and if you know another female founder or aspiring entrepreneur who could benefit from this inspiring story, please share this video. Until next time, as always, live the cultured life.